we got our first person here. Is it DDG? Is it Ashley Ortega? I don't know who it is. Let's go. I don't even want to pee. Should I pee? Go ahead, bro. You got to see who it is. Three, two, ready. Hey! Hold him up, kissy. Good YouTube, it's your boy Pretty Boy Fredo, aka Fredo Two Times. As you guys know, 2020 is coming to an end, and me going into 2021, I just want to leave everything involved in 2020. I just want to wrap it up, y'all. All the good, bad, the ugly, ups, the downs. I just want to seal this thing up. You know what? 2020, get in the, get in here. Wow. For 2021, I am happy to announce that we are going to Daily Vlogs, baby. Yes, that's right. You guys are finally going to get the opportunity to get an upload from your boy every single day. This is going to be amazing. The reason why I decided on starting this journey is because I've done just about every single thing on YouTube. Going into this next year, I want to give you guys all of them. And I want to do things that I've never done before. And I feel like daily vlogging is the perfect challenge that I need. And then going into this new journey, I don't want any negativity or any things that have been done on this channel or done just in general to like weigh on energy going into the new year. I want to start this daily vlog journey on a high exciting note that every day is going to be fun. Every day is going to be an adventure. Before we can take on this journey, we must deal with all the damage of 2020. Now y'all know in 2020, your boy, I ain't gonna lie, I might have been going a little crazy for a little bit. So there's some things from 2020 that I want to address right now and I'm actually going to do something really, really special so we can end 2020 on the right note. Let's get down into the juiciness, y'all. Let's do it. I'm gonna be opening up gifts for these people on Hype.com. If you don't know what Hype.com is, it's a mystery box site where pretty much you open mystery boxes and get really dope stuff like Gucci Supreme, Louis Vuitton. And the cool thing about Hype is when you pay to open a box, you're guaranteed the value of whatever you pay for or more. So for example, if you open a box for $20, you could potentially win an item for like $200. It's completely random. It makes for really dope gifts. Not only that, we're gonna be talking deep down into some of the craziest things that I was involved in in 2020. Let's get into to it, yeah. I'm gonna start with Miss Ashley Ortega. Now, a lot of you guys know in 2020, I introduced this new, crazy, very different and angry side of me that I'm not happy about, which is demon time. And I would have to say, Ashley Ortega, she's seen the absolute worst of me on demon time. A lot of people thought I was on drugs or just, I don't know, maybe going crazy. But I was just simply expressing myself in a very, very angry manner. A lot of you guys don't know, but me and Ashley Ortega, we built a pretty decent relationship. Not something that was built off, you know, physical or or anything like that. It was a genuine friendship. I spent a lot of time talking to her, days, nights, so on and so forth. We built a really great relationship where she trusted me. And then turn around, I went back and did some very foolish things, I, allowing one of my SSH members to speak on her and pretty much bring in this whole mess of just bull. Although I didn't mean any ill intent or I didn't want to, you know, purposely harm or hurt her, I ended up doing that by one, breaking her trust, two, publicly embarrassing her in front of the world, and three, just bringing our business to the internet when if we had problems or issues or things were going on, these things could have been kept behind closed doors. I'm gonna publicly embarrass her in front of the world. I also need to be okay with publicly apologizing. Now, before, you know, I say it on camera, I want to send her a text directly. Hey Ashley, it's Fredo. I want to apologize for everything I put you through this year. You're a beautiful person with a beautiful soul and deserve nothing less to be treated as such. In those moments on live, I was extremely angry, but it doesn't justify my actions. And I'm continually working hard to be a better person and treat the people around me with more respect. I hope you can find it in you to forgive me and hopefully we can come together in person to solve our differences. I also have a gift for you that I'd like to give you for the holidays to show my gratitude. God bless and happy holidays. Now we're gonna go on the Hive site and we're gonna get her a dope gift for Christmas. As you guys can see, we're on the Hive website right now. These are some of the different cool boxes that they have on their site. I'm gonna try this box. You can get consoles such as PS5, Xbox Series X, AirPods, a bunch of different dope tech stuff, so hopefully we can get something sick. Let's try this box. Let's see if we can get Ashley something dope. Here we go. Swipe it up! This is cool, but I don't think that this is the right gift. Maybe we can get something a little better for her. Now, the cool thing about Hive, if you don't want a gift, you can actually sell it back. So I'm actually gonna sell this back and try my luck again. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. I'm gonna swipe it up. Let's see what I got. 
Let's go! An iPhone 12. Now this is sick. This is really sick. Obviously this is not gonna make up for you know, everything that was said and everything that was done. I'm just hoping that we can come together, settle our differences, and we can put everything that we had in the past. I'm gonna give actually a good like 24 hours to 48 hours to respond to this text. Hopefully I can get a response. We shall see. Let's get on to the next topic. All right, so for this next topic, I wanna speak directly to the Muslim community. Some things were said in a recent 24 hour live stream that I'm not in any way, shape, or form proud of. I used the word Allah in a very disrespectful way. I don't even wanna play the clip because honestly now that I'm aware of what the word Allah actually means I'm actually disturbed by it and I completely understand how as a Muslim or someone that follows that practice or religion will be completely offended by it I'm not here to justify my actions or not take responsibility for what I did at the time I was unaware of what the word Allah actually meant but nonetheless I am wrong I never deliberately mock or disrespect someone's religion. I feel like everyone in this world has the ability and right to practice whatever they feel like they want to practice. And they should also feel safe and comfortable with doing so. It's crazy and what I learned about this situation is that I have so many Muslim followers. I had no idea that I had so many. Knowing that some of you guys felt hurt by my words, that literally tore me apart. I could only imagine how that made some of you guys feel. And I'm here to say sorry. I'm sorry that you guys had to just experience me saying, saying those things. Because that was a blatant case of being unaware and ignorant. And I take full responsibility for that. Now, there's no way possible that I can give over one billion people a gift. I actually have a Muslim friend. I actually have multiple Muslim friends. I've been friends with this guy for a good like four to five years now. We're gonna get his thoughts on the situation and then I'm gonna go on Hive and I'm gonna get him a gift. How did you feel when you saw the comments from a friend? From a friend aspect, you being a Muslim, how did that make you feel seeing that from me? At first, I didn't know how to feel. Like, I don't know how to like react to it. I was like, really? Cause you know how, you know, I'm close to you. So I couldn't imagine you saying that. I don't know how you can make that mistake like that because you know everybody's not perfect. Everybody has their flaws, you know. So everybody makes mistakes. So you know, you know in my religion, God always forgives people. No matter what you do, no matter what you commit, it's always going to be forgiven. I just want to thank you for accepting my apology. Not only that, you know, bringing me more aware to the Muslim community and things like yeah. that. So I actually got something really dope that I got you. Actually, I don't know what it is yet. But I'm about to open some stuff. I got a gift for you, all right? Can you come to Florida and accept this gift on my behalf? Can you do that? Uh, <laughs> come on, man. You got to, man. Come on. All right, bro. All right, you'll come accept. Now, I don't know what the gift is yet, but you got to shake right now that you agree to come get it. I promise. I got you. I got you. I got Bet. you. I'm going to try to get my dog True some drip. So I'm going to open up this off-white box, hopefully, we can get him some dope, y'all. Let's go. For eight dollars, here we go. Let's swipe it up. Come on, hype. Let's go. Let's go. The off-white Jordan Four. This is sick. So I look forward to seeing True. Hopefully soon. It's one out of two for sure. Let's get this third one going, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. So this third situation: Pretty Boy Fredo versus DDG. Now I can literally sit here and go on and on and on. Sit here argue about who's right, who's wrong, who did what, who did this. And I'm just ultimately gonna say right now that I just don't care. For the longest time through these like past few years, you know, me and DDG, we've had this big beef going. On. And it's just to the point to me where it's just repetitive. It's like the same sh Like what exactly are we arguing about? What exactly are we beefing about? And also us being influencers of, of black people, black men, we're constantly seeing dragging each other down. What type of image does this bring on for people that look up to us? Just being black men in America, we face a lot of different challenges. The last thing that we should be doing is tearing each other down. And I know I've gotten crazy with it, I've entertained it, diss track, all this like wild, just unnecessary that's not necessarily like in my character, that's necessarily me. But nonetheless, I did it and I acted on it, foolishly acted on it in the moment. Can't say I regret it, but I'm not proud of it. And moving forward, I don't want that type of energy, that negative energy. I don't want to ever be seen putting someone down. I don't ever want to be seen dragging another one of my brothers down. I feel like us influencers, no matter if you're black, green, white, red, we're all better together than against each other. And instead of tearing each other down, we should be pushing each other up. So instead of being a little kid and doing all the kids that 
I've been doing. And I don't care how this looks to you say Fredo soft this, Fredo, I don't give a f I want to be a man, and I want to be a man about the situation. This is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm actually going to DM DDG. We've had tons of conversation in DMs about the wrong So let's make this one conversation about the right things. Moving into 2021, we can have a clean slate, nice, clean energy. So here we go. What's up, bro? From one successful black man to another, I feel like we are better together than against each other. I apologize for any harm or trauma I may have caused you in the past. I pray that God continues to bless you and your family with an abundance of blessings. Also, I want some gifts for you that I'd like to give you. If you want them, we can link up on some grown man stuff. I'll give you some time to think it over. God bless. I'm sending this message to him with every intent to make things right and end this beef once and for all. Going into my new journey of daily vlogging, I want positive energy all the way around. I feel like this situation is way overdue. And at some point, someone has to step up and be the bigger man. And I choose to be that person. All right, so we're back on Hive, and uh, let's get DDG a nice gift for Christmas. Of course, he can buy the things on the site. I want this to be more about the gesture rather than whatever gift is given in this. Gonna open this box for $9. Here we go. I'm gonna swipe it up. Come on. Let's go. I just got DDG the off-white Jordan 5. Some of the hottest, dopest shoes on the market today. Now again, I sent all my messages to Ashley, True, and DDG. I'm gonna give it 24 to 48 hours. Hopefully we can get a response. Also guys, don't forget to click the link in the description to get your first box on Hive absolutely free and 10% off your next deposit. I'm gonna give it 24 to 48 hours. I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> Look at all the Christmas presents! Put on the doorbell ring. Bro. All right, so we got our first person here. Is it DDG? Is it Ashley Ortega? I don't know who it is. Let's go. And the Christmas spirit, man. I don't even want to pee. Should I pee? Go ahead, bro. You gotta see who it is. Right, here it is. Three, two, ready. You know, my boy got Whoa! <laughs> Hell, No way! Oh, no way! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's how I feel! That's how I feel! <laughs> I got some gifts for you, dawg! I went on this site called Hive.com and I opened a mystery box. Now, look, there was supposed to be some other guests coming. I don't necessarily know if they're gonna come or not. So, I'm, you're gonna get some of their gifts too. <laughs> and then if if they really don't come, then if anything, we can we can go give to the homeless yeah, as well. Yeah, so, we um, there's one specific shoe in here, and I just want you to take a guess on what you think I want for you out of the mystery. Ah, uh, I got my eyes on both of these, but I'm gonna say mostly these. You like them? So, I didn't win you these, but actually, I won you. You can't deny, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> You had your eyes on them? Yeah. Guess what? Them yours too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'm feeling, I'm feeling very generous. I want you to pick one more shit. This is your best day. No, bro. Look, look, look. I want you to pick one more. Look. No. I had some other guests that were supposed to come and get some shit, but like, I don't know if they gonna come. You know what, let me check my phone. Let me see if she if she messaged me back. She ain't messaged me if back. she didn't. So it's been two days and I haven't got a response from her at all, which is understandable. Pick whatever you want. She not here. She not here? Oh, let me take this, what the f Brand new phone, come on now, look. Straight up great. Look at my phone. It's an 11 Wait, yes. Bro, thank you so much, man. Nah, no that's problem. Nice. Also, I don't want to just talk about it. I want to be about it and I want to make a stance and, you know, be about my work. But right now, I'm going to give you $100,000. Whoa. So that I can donate money to any charity of your choice that is Muslim and related and also I'm gonna give you fifty thousand dollars personally. No fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Yeah. Although DDG 
and Ashley Ortega did not show up. It's okay because we have a car full of shoes. Now we get to give the gift to the streets, to the homeless. Downtown here in my hometown, Orlando, and give away to the homeless, man. It's gonna be great. Like some new pairs of shoes? You'll take them? Look what we got you, man. Some pair of Yeezys, bro. There you go, man. Now you can get out of these. You can put the Yeezys on, all right? Hey, God bless, man. Merry Christmas. Yeezy for Christmas. Yeezy for Christmas. Thank you. Hey, there you go, man. God bless, uh, man. Thank, Merry thank Christmas, man. man. For real. Thank you. Thank Merry thank Christmas. You. you ever had a pair of Jordans? No. You never had a pair of Jordans? Guess what? Today's your lucky day, man. Shit. Look at these. Oh, nice. oh shit. Nice, yeah. Them nice. Them nice. Them nice. I love. There you go. Hey, hey, I it, oh my God, man! It's the best Christmas ever, man. The best and Christmas ever. Oh, they did. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Hey, no problem, man. Love God you. bless. Nice. This nigga fresh. <laughs> this nigga fresh. Yes. Look how fresh that is. How that feel, bro? It feels good. Look how fresh. Look how. <laughs> oh my fucking. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, those look sick, dude. Thank you. Those look sick, bro. I'm very grateful for this. Thank you so much. Hey, Merry Christmas, bro. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. God bless. Man. I got a thousand dollars right now that I'm gonna give you. Man, I shouldn't be crying in front of you, man, but I'm a grown man. I can't help it. Man, I ain't never had nobody do that for me, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I guess his toughest battle is his strongest soldiers, man. All right. Thank you, bro. You might not understand why things are the way they are, but there's better days ahead, all right? All right, thank you, man. Hey, God bless, all right? All right, thank you. Though Ashley Ortega and DDG didn't come, we still were able to give a lot of gifts to the homeless. This is what it's all about, man. Christmas is all about giving back. Also, guys, don't forget to click the link in the description to get your first box on Hive absolutely free and 10% off your next deposit. I look forward to this 2021 journey. 2021. SSH is taking fucking over. I love you guys. DK likes for the next video on Sunday. We out.